Hey guys, it's Brian with Elyon Design Solutions. Today we're going to go over how to do a 3D lamp in AutoCAD and uh, render it out. So uh, what we're going to really try to accomplish here in this video is establishing the 2D drawing if you want to call it that and then what we're going to do is convert the 2D drawing to 3D geometry and then once we get the 3D geometry established we will um, uh, we'll get some lights and some textures added to it and then uh, after that we'll render it a uh, pretty easy process once you do it a couple times um, and as a uh, side note before we get started I'm a keystroke command kind of guy in AutoCAD so a lot of what I do is I do a lot of keystrokes like elf would be line or and you could really set it up whatever you want with the alias <coughs> for your command but uh, that's just usually how I do it that way pretty much if I hop on anybody's computer because I usually work on a couple different computers and there's usually a couple different users on those and that way I, I don't have to ever hunt for the, the icons but anyway let's uh, go ahead and get going and see what we can uh, come up with so we'll go down to AutoCAD here so first thing we want to do is start a, a blank template just open a new uh, uh, drawing in AutoCAD and for this one I think we're going to call it lamp just because that's what we're creating so let's go to the uh, symbol here and let's just hit save as and so I've just created 3D objects here and I already got it lamp so I go lamp I'll, I'll just call this one lamp too because I already, already did it one time to kind of figure out how I wanted to do the uh, drawing so we'll just call this lamp 2 starting let's see save make that a little bit bigger there we go so we got lamp 2 saved here so the first thing we want to do is we want to establish the 2D portion of this and it's real easy to convert over to 3D if you do it correctly the main thing I like to do with 3D drawings are to look at the object in a way that you could say you know if I revolve a particular shape what, what shape would it give me and that's a particular that's an AutoCAD command that we'll go we'll use that one in a few minutes uh, you know if I want to extrude something another command if I wanted to uh, sweep it or loft it or you know there's a bunch of different uh, commands that you can play with within the AutoCAD world here and see if I can find a couple of them uh, let's see here uh, hardly ever remember where these things are because I'm service editing service creation is that one well this is mainly mesh stuff here but anyway I, let's not waste too much time but you'll, you'll see what I mean when we get going alright so the first thing I want to do is I want to draw a baseline let's just draw it right there right about here it's going to be right about here and this is kind of what I'm going to draw everything up from this is going to be my basically my zero zero even though it's down here but it doesn't really matter so from here, what we're going to do is if you look here, if you draw a line up here and then kind of come around with it, and we're going to draw this profile, basically half of it, right? And then we're going to take that shape and then revolve it all the way around and it'll give us a 3D shape. And we'll do that for the lamp and we'll do that for the, um, we'll do that for the, uh, the light in there also and uh, I'll see if I can extrude this one out that way you can kinda which we're going to use the command press pull for that little guy right there so anyway just try to use a couple different commands here to show you there's more than one way to to do something especially in AutoCAD I, I assure you there's uh there probably is some more efficient ways to doing this but this is just how I do it or how I do this one. so first thing I want to do to kind of try to draw that and like I said don't worry about scale because we're just learning how to draw right now um, so 
And you can see uh, we have right around the where the uh, crosshair just says we're 41 inches up. So that's a little tall. So let's go somewhere maybe 24. So we'll just type in 20. Again, this is a just another reference point to know that's as high how high I want it to land. So now what we're going to do is I'm draw draw a line. And please pay attention to if I don't mention it, pay attention to the uh, command line here, and you'll see what keys I'm keying in. Or so if I neglect to mention, so in this case we're going to draw a line, which is L, and then we're going to come over. Let's just come over, and you left click over, and then we're going to say I don't know, maybe two inches, because half of that, and then you know, let's give one, really. If, you know, if you double that, then you know you're going to be at um, going to be at uh, two inches. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's erase that. I'll e for erase, and then we're going to go L. So we'll go we'll go 1.5, 1.5. You can see down there at the command line we're keying that in. All right, so all right, so now we've got let's zoom in here. Just going to come down a little bit. This is going to be like the plastic piece that the bulb screws into. That's what that is right there. And I'm going to kind of make another little lip. Again, we're going to, this is going to be a Bob Ross, uh, Ross, <coughs> Bob Ross style AutoCAD drawing here where it's just the drawing is going to make itself and I don't know if we're going to do any happy trees or not, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll get there. So we're going to come down. Just what, however you want to do this. I encourage you to do it however you want. So come down and uh, then we're going to say, you know, let's just go down a little bit right there. So now you can draw A for arc if you want. You can do an arc or a spline or however you want. And this shape is actually going to be different than the one that I created. It's a three point arc. So the first point and this is going to be my second point. And then, uh, let's see here. This is going to be my third point right there. And then we can draw L. L for line. I'm going to come over. And then we're going to click again, and be left click, and then come down there. Alright, so now we're going to trim this right here because we don't really need that. One way you can do it is click there, here, go to there, U for undo, and again you can do it there, this way, there. Or you can just trim TR in my case, enter, right click, and then left click, and then another left click. And there you go. Now what you want to do in here, do you want to make this one solid entity, you want to join it. But before we do that, let's uh, let's add some little beads or, I don't know, some kind of accent, you know, going here. So you can do, a, you can do something like, a, you know, a circle, C in my case, we're going to do a C, and left, how was that, that was C, enter, and then left click and then let's just come out so that far right there that look good yeah now what i want to do is just copy that that, <clears throat> that bad boy right there about the center point if you don't have your um uh your ortho turned on and your snap um not your ortho but yeah just your snap which will take you to points that you have designated and I'll go over that in another video, just for the sake of time here. Let's see here, we have it on the center point. So here, we want to go down, and then we'll go down again. And let's just try to do that down here. Again, just a one, two, three. There you go. Now we're going to go in here and trim these guys off. TR for trim, enter, right click, trim, all these guys. We're going to trim these guys out there too. Bottom. So again, one way, one way to do this. This is just, uh, this is how I like to approach it. I like to approach it in a, in a 2D, especially if you, you, you want to do something pretty custom. So, got that. Now let's, let's add a bevel to this right here. Um, you're going to fill at this edge right here, you F, and then R for radius right here. You can actually clip those, but I'll, like I said, I'm a typer, and then R. And then uh, if you really don't know what your scale is or whatever, you can just click 
right or left click there and then just kind of this is going to be the radius of a circle so let's just make it about that big see what happens there you go there you go uh, something else you can do just for realism is we'll, I'm going to draw a line here here and the F8 turns your ortho on go there and turn it back off and your line stays connected there and we can kind of go up again with it. Just trying to create a bottom profile of this thing. You know, there's a lot of stuff might flat on the bottom. And then we're going to exit out of that command. And then we're going to trim TR again. Trim. And trim. There you go. I know it looks funny right now. But uh, it'll look good in a minute. Trust me. So what we'll uh, do now is to create... Actually, we don't need to do that. But you could hollow this part out where the light's going to go in. But... We're, for what we're doing, it's fine. I just wanted to get you the basic uh, shape of the geometry here. So, what do we do now? We need to join all of these lines in order to revolve this. What we're going to do is revolve this shape about this axis point here, and it'll go all the way around it, and then it'll create your geometry for you. So, let's see here. What we need to do is join it. J for join. J. See here. J for join. And we're going to highlight just all of them. And you check to see if they are. And they're not. Ah, that's funny. Let's try it again. Sometimes you got to do it multiple times. Now we're going to do a crossing window. Now we're, now we're getting there. Ah, see how there? it's all the way across? You have points all the way. That's how you can tell that it's a, now it's a polyline. Now we're in business. So, uh, see if we can just go to a uh, three, three D uh, isometric view here. This would be the uh, what's that? Southwest, yeah, Southwest isometric. So what we can do now, we're going to type in revolve. That's R E V, and it'll start. It'll do it for you. And if you don't remember it, it'll kind of finish it for you. This is actually real similar to what we're going to be doing here, that example. Some of these uh, icons will give you examples of how to actually execute the, uh, the geometry or how to get it created. So we're going to choose that. Now we're going to choose all of this. I was a left click. And if you notice if I go left to right, it's a solid window. But if I go start on the right and go to the left, it's a uh, dotted window. Uh, if you go left to right, everything has to be selected in order for it to grab it uh, left starting at the right and going to your left you just have to um, barely touch something in order for it to be considered as to whatever it is you're trying to do whether it be erase or rotate or whatever so I'll show you what I mean so REV for revolve again we we'll space bar enter so we'll go left to right see that how it selected it but if I go right or Sorry, that was right to left. How it selected it, and then but if I go left to right, nothing. Even if I encompass all that, so we could just do that. So now the whole thing is selected. So now if you look at your command line, so we select our object. So we're going to hit enter or return or spacebar. So now this is our axis that we're going to rotate around. So we're going to click here, here. Ah, look at that. It's already starting to do something. So. Just real quick, so if you know you want to go all the way around, we're just going to type in 360, 360, bam. Looks like a bunch of jumbled lines, but I assure you it's good. So let's look at, uh, if you go here to the shaded, or realistic, sorry, this is the realistic version. And there you go, look at that. We got the, and if you hold down shift, <clears throat> and then your middle mouse button, at the same time, uh, and then you drag your mouse, you'll be able to rotate. See, this kind of gave us a nice profile on the bottom there. And all those circles we created gave us those little ribs. So, we can look at that bad boy on the uh, front view here. Really, these are about... Sorry. There you go. This is the, I actually created this on the top view. So, but that's okay. Well, we can, well, we can fix that real quick. Uh, to do that, that's a brings us to another command we can utilize. Because I like to draw in the south, the uh, isometric views of just 
to me it's a little easier. So what we'll do is we'll just highlight everything like that. And I'll type in 3D and then R and then 3D rotate should pop up. Or you can just finish typing the word. And then what we'll do is just click on it. And then we'll see this axis right here, the red one? That's the, about what we're going to rotate. And it'll tell you, and you'll see that the blue one's this way, the green one is kind of a, this way. So we want to rotate it. So just click on that one until it turns yellow. And if you get it wrong, just try it again. That's, uh, you know, that's how we all figure stuff out. Just, you know, trial and error. You don't learn things by uh, doing it right all the time. So, you just play with it, really. That's the best way to, to do it. So now what we can do is we just click. Oh, the left click. And then, and then exit out of that. Now, bam. Look at that. Now we got that bad boy standing upright. So what we can do is now we're going to go to the front view. There you go. It's just when it's rendered out, or it'll look a lot better. So we'll add materials to it here in a little bit. We're not going to do that right yet. So, um, so now what we can do is uh, we go to um, uh, if we go to Google and you look up. Or, well, we all know what a light looks like, but uh, if you could just go and look a light up, if you can't really remember. Um, you know, you go and you can make it really. There's hundreds of different styles of lights. You can do big ones or small ones or you know, tea light or however. We're just going to sketch one in here. So the best way to tell how wide something is, so you don't draw it over, especially when you're doing this 3D, use your dimensions. A good buddy of mine, Rod, that I used to work with, taught me this because I always had trouble with making sure. Look at that. Oh, actually no. It always wanted to snap to the wrong point. Going to type in E N. Actually no, that'd be N. Let's type in. Q U A quadrant. Mm, well, that is quadrant. I don't know what's going on with that. It's weird. Hmm. Try that again. Draw a dimension line. Quadrant. Because you're looking at a circle and the endpoints are going to technically be quadrants. There. highlight the dimension stream. It looks like it's getting it. I, I, it's just kind of a weird little glitch there, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so what we're going to do is we can just move this M for move. Move it over. Just a, a distance. And this is just gives us some parameters to work with in here. So what we can do again, we're going to do again. We're going to draw half of the shape and then we're going to revolve it and, and then go on about it. So, what we can do now is draw a line from here to here. Those are our parameters, and because we're looking at this straight on, you're not going to be drawn into the 3D uh, area, and that's why I moved this over, is so that we would know how f um, we wouldn't be snapping into anything over here. So this is the uh, parameters that we're within here, and you know, usually it's offset because there's wall thicknesses and whatnot, but uh, we'll try to come up with something. So here, let's draw a line. We're going to draw the base metal part of the light first, there. Like I said, we're just eyeballing this thing. We're not, uh, doesn't have to be exact. Um, you know, which I've had to do plenty of those. Right, so now, again, another, this is, again, how I do it, just so I can kind of see how, how big stuff is. And then again, we're going to kind of, this is gonna actually going to be the light bulb portion here. Alright, so what we can do... We can uh, start up here and draw an arc. That's A for arc, and then enter. It's going to be a three point arc. There. And draw another one. I always, I always hit the like triple hit the escape button just to make sure you're out of command. So, and then A for arc again. And kind of, we're going to come this way with it. Hit your ortho one. And if you turn your, well actually it doesn't really work for that, that's weird. So, I'm going to hit it right about there. And then we'll kind of do that right there. And then, uh, I think they're actually kind of rounded at the bottom. Do you ever look at one? Hmm. I'm going to come down. And I'm going to move, because we wanted to stay here, we'll just move that over. 
trim, TR, enter, right click, trim it, trim it, trim. Damn, look at that. That's a weird looking light, but hey, it'll work. It works. And now we're going to fix this to smooth that out. We're going to put a radius, fill it radius on it. So we're going to F enter, remember R for radius, R. This is a key thing to your command line. And so we're, again, we're going to establish the radius. If you don't like that, you can go bigger with it. In, F, enter, R, enter. Make it bigger. Draw it way out there. I'm going to really smooth it out. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That looks good. That's, that's coming down. That's not good. Let's just draw. Let's uh, tool this. The line right here is the apex, the top of your circle. Let's pull this arc in. Basically, where the uh, point starts to flatten out. See, those lines are starting to flatten out there near the top. There. Now let's fix this guy. So you can stretch this. S for stretch in my case. Or you can just type in stretch. S. Left click. We're going from right to left. And then we're going to just kind of eyeball it. There you go. Like I said, Freehand in this thing. We want to trim this off. TR. Enter. Right click. There you go. Alright. From here, what we wanted to do, or do's, as my buddy Robin likes to say, uh, I'm going to go down from this point. I know we want to initially set that, but that looks kind of big. I don't know what I was thinking. We go there to there. That was just a line. And then from here, we'll kind of maybe go down. Turn your ortho off. Kind of go to angle to there. Because this is actually the metal conducting part. This is actually the sleeve that, so you don't get electrocuted when you have to handle it. And then this is the light bulb itself. So I'm going to trim those out. TR, enter. And trim, trim. Those are e, command E for erase. Um, so now, oh yeah, this is what we need to do. Because this is one kind of material. This is one kind of material. This is one kind of material. So we're going to just want to separate those. It's real easy to do. So we're going to go to BR for break. BR. Well, those are actually already broken. Which is fine with me. Uh, again, BR. Break. Because you're first you're starting an endpoint, and that's where it's going to break it. Uh, so this is going to be one type of material. So what we can do is just move this down. That was M. I'll do it again. M. Enter. I use space bar as my enter. There and there. We just select those and bring them down just a little bit here. So we know we'll just do one. That looks like a lot, but uh, let's do that. You can go move. M. Enter. P. Enter. That's move previous. So you don't have to re-select stuff. It's a neat little... Uh, trick I learned. And then so we'll now we're gonna right click to select to solidify the selection. Turn your ortho on and let's just type in something like 0.125 an eighth of an inch basically. See now it just moves it down just enough though we can still see stuff. Now here we're going to draw a line, L, enter. And uh, let's move this one down both of these. Move M enter. And do left I want to do the uh, window crossing here. Select all of those. And again, let's do an eighth of an inch. 0.125. That eighth of an inch doesn't really mean anything. That's just a known distance. So now we're going to draw a line from here to here. And uh, what we know we can do is connect these things with a fillet command. F, enter. And then we're going to change the radius to zero to make a right angle. R, enter. And just type in zero. Zero. Now I'll click first and second. Bam. Again, if you hit enter, it should, depending on how you have your stuff set up, it should repeat your last command. Um, I can go over that in another tutorial. Uh, you right click customization and whatnot. 
um, <clears throat> it just really helps me speed up my uh, my drawing. So I'm going to go F enter. So we already have the radius established. You don't, re you don't need to reestablish it. You know, you're already in the command, or you were, so you just hit and enter again for spacebar. There, to there. All right, so now we got our three parts to our light bulb assembly. All right, so let's go into our. Oh, uh, let's join these first. Join. And yes, you could have just drawn a rectangle here, and you could have drawn a rectangle and chamfered out the edge there, but like I said, we're kind of just eyeballing this, and it doesn't have to be exact, guys, so I feel free to draw a funny looking light if you want. You can do, you want to do the spiral lights if you know how to do the helical shapes. We can do those in another video. Those are actually kind of fun to mess with. You can do screws and um, all kinds of different stuff, so we're going to join these. J for join, again, J for join on those. Want to make sure they're polylined all the way around. Now we're going to go back into our south, out, southwest isometric, and now we're going to revolve this. Remember that was the REV, and I usually just hit enter because it's the top one, and it'll do that for you. So we select these guys, and we'll come up here for our axis. See how it's doing it. Type in 360 for 360 degrees. There you go. Bam. Cool deal. Now if you hold shift down and then your middle mouse again, you'll be able to see under there. We'll do that again. Revolve, REV. And then we're going to pick, again, two points of your axis. So it knows. And then uh, 360. And repeat that step again down here. So REV. Select your, uh, your stuff. And you can go top bottom or you can go bottom top on this as long as you're about this line. Uh, and then here, and 360. Alright, you remember we moved those an eighth of an inch, so we can just move that guy. 0.125. And that looks like it's the same thing, but it's not. They're going to be two different colors and the materials when we're done. We're going to move these up. Sorry, that was move. Enter. Select. Select. Enter. And then we'll go 0.125. That looks a little bit ridiculous, actually. Uh, actually, it might not look too bad later. It just looks a little weird now. So what you can do, a neat little trick um, we can do is we can go to your front view. You're like, well, oh, man, I don't know. That does look kind of funny, but hey, whatever. Um, you go, how far over did we move that? Cause, and I did this on purpose, so we did not know how far we moved it. So go up to your dimension here if you don't know where to find that if you're in 2018 um, uh, you can uh, type in because I it's like AutoCAD messed up on me earlier I had to reload these and I have this fresh in my brain so I'll show you if you type in uh, uh, dash um, oh, what was it uh, tool Let's see dash toolbar here Oh, what was it? Oh, I'm over disproving myself. Dash. Uh, toolbar. Toolbar. Should be dash toolbar. At any rate. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I, I'm trying not to get distracted here, which I easily am done. But if you already have toolbar, and I'll, look, I'll try to look that up later. I, you know, crash and burn on that one, but uh, it's something toolbar. I'll, I'll have to look it up. But anyway, if you right click on the little dotted lines there, if you already have toolbars pulled up, just because I draw kind of old school. So you can kinda, well, you can kind of see that I have some here, but that's what I was trying to show you. But if you right click, and you can pick different ones here. I know we're getting off on a tangent, but I'm just trying to make things as easy as possible for you. You can just mess with all the different kind of uh, toolbars, and really, a lot of them are within these guys, these ribbons. I don't necessarily, I'm not a ribbon guy, I haven't, I haven't transitioned over to that yet, I'm just not comfortable with it. But anyway, so, back to this, we're going to measure this, 
this is how you move things properly in 3D. You want to click your center point there. And if you don't know where your center point is, it should be a circle. So we want to type, go to your dimension line, your first point, circle. That, that tells you you're in your center. And then find this, see how that, that little line, that's perpendicular, that right angle looking thing. That's your nearest. And then that is a quadrant. But your quadrant is actually in the same location as your center point. Um, on a circle, I think how the circles made. So, what we're going to do is we're not going to move this about these points. We're going to move it about this dimension line point um, that way because we know it's on flat. So it's going to be move, enter, M, enter. I mean, and then we're going to select all of that. And then we're going to select there, select there. And that light looks crazy small. No, I'm just that's just me. Uh, so. What we're going to do is just scale that up. I don't know how we did that, but we did. So scale is SC, enter. And then uh, SC, in my case, enter. I'm going to select your geometry. And then what you can do is you can make it as big as we want. And move, enter. P for previous, P, enter, which will give you that. Let's just eyeball that bad boy up. Looks kind of weird, I don't know. I think I forgot to draw something up here, which we can do that. Let's uh, see how that's off. Now if we look at it from a side view. So again, we'll move it over. Center point, center point, and then we'll move here to here, erase that line, and then what we'll just hold shift button down, the middle mouse, and then again, just, huh? there we go. So just get it sort of kind of tapered a little bit. Now what we're going to do, because it looks like I forgot to draw something, I'm going to draw a C for circle. And then uh, about that big. We're gonna have to rotate this circle in a second. If it does that for you, that's fine. We'll just bring her down. There we go. Select your circle. 3D rotate. 3D R, and then I'll finish it up for you. Enter your green one here. There. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is press pull. That's P R E S S. And P, and then it should pull it up there for you. Select your line, or your... Ah, uh, no, no. Try it again. Command's already active, so I just hit Enter. If not, it'll press Pull. And see how we're doing that right there? It's just pulling it up for you. Alright, so I'm going to erase that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to union the two pieces, this one with this one, that way there'll be one piece, the U-N-I-O-N, enter, it's like one, two, now they're, now they're all one thing. Now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to jump forward and maybe add some materials this, that way we can kind of just tell what the difference of the stuff is. And if you want, actually no, not so much, might get uh, distracted, what we can do there is we can uh, just add uh, a different <coughs> color to it, so we're we know what's what, so we know that's one piece of material. So when you look at it, say in um, oh, where to go, I move my stuff here. We now know that's one thing. At this point, it's a little easier to see. So what we'll do is we'll go to and, uh, oops, like the first there, home, and we'll change that to that. And then for the glass portion. All right, now here, uh, what we'll do, because I want this base pedestal to be one color, a different color, so what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, let's get a front view. <clears throat> Starting to look like something. Now we're going to slice, and, I, that's, uh, and it's best to do this on a flat plane. That's why I chose the front plane, either front, top, side, uh, just works the best that way. 
so that's why I encourage drawing things on a, an established plane. So it slides us S, L, enter. And we're just going to pick that guy right there and then enter again. And it should pick, you just pick anywhere about that right there, as long as we know it's on that flat line. And just bring it over and then we've already, and then, uh, what did I do with that was Select and then that's enter and then it's choose the quadrant or the, the if you can get a snap line to the nearest that'd be cool and then we're going to left click over here and then we'll right click and what it did is it basically took a knife and cut that now what we can do is I can take this and we know that this is a different material kind of gives a healthy out so and then let's see how we get silver alright so so far, these are our uh, different pieces that we have. Cool. So now, what we can do is, you know, I like to draw my, which it didn't work out last time, I don't know what happened. Uh, if we draw our um, reference line here, we'll just copy it up, CO. So now we're doing our lampshade. So, lampshade's going to be a little bit more, it's like a more multi-step process here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw, say, a, um, I don't know, go from my baby about here to, let's say here. It's already starting. Now we're going to trim, TR, tr trim, trim. Let's move that bad boy. Let's move it M, enter, M, and move it over. I didn't. I don't know how far I moved that, so we'll have to use our dimension line to check it in a little bit. Looks like, and just to make sure those are good. For the F enter. Actually, no, you don't need to do that. What am I doing? I'm crazy. Because uh, it's going to be hollow. So what we're going to do is we're going to. You don't even need. Uh, no, you don't actually. You don't. That. So what we're going to do is we're going to offset this, go enter, just type in some small amount, like 0 0.0625, which is 16. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that's good for me. We're just trying to create, um, to give it some uh, volume. And I'll draw a line, line here to there. guys I think I messed that up and back up and back up. Alright this is what I was looking for. This line. We do need to keep this line. Alright so erase this line. I'm sorry about that. So again we need to offset this line 16th of an inch. So it's O enter 0 0.0625 or you can whatever scale you're on. Now guys I'm working on Imperial. I probably should have established that before I did this. Um, I work out of South Carolina here. So um, and so we're Imperial stuff. So this is going to be our, our our rotating axis here. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to join these J. J for join. There we go. We got that worked. All of them. Good deal. Now we're going to go here. Now we're going to revolve this R E V. Just like those guys. This is our center point, our axis. There to there. There's our lamp shade. Look at that, 360. Uh, let's rotate 360. Uh, 360. Man, look at that. Looking good. Look at that front view. Alright, so let's uh, get a dimension up here. Now, I'm not going to draw your frame and everything, and this is just for. Let's come up with this. So, you can do all that later. This is just to get you going and get you an idea. Oh, before we do that, let's move. Um. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what we can do, not to get sidetracked, but what we can do is type in M-A-T-E-R and material should pop up for you. It's just materials. So what we can do, you're, not, you're really here, you can do whatever you want now. Um, we'll add in, let's say, uh, I want to type in, hmm, well, we, can go, we can go with red. Just take, right, left click it, drag, oh come on. Left click. What are you doing? It's been hard to get along with. 
N E T L. Here we go. So you just pick whatever you want. Um, bunches and bunches and bunches <laughs> of uh, options. You even got rusted diamond plate, you know, zinc, brass. I mean, this is this is just in the metal category. This is one of the fun parts for me to just be able to pick stuff. Um, I don't know what does this look like. Metal roof, standing, but standing thing metal. It's kind of interesting looking, I guess. And so there we applied our first material. Uh, down here we can um, do aluminum. And then I'm going to touch this guy. It looks black just because there's no light on it. So something with no light, even though there's a default light here, we'll fix that in a second. So here, it's going to turn that into glass. Let's come up here. Oops. G L A A S S. Clear light. Touch. Uh, and then we'll go to let's go back to metal or let's go plastic. P L A S T. And black here. Touch that guy. Um, then let's go to. metal <coughs> and aluminum. Alright, cool deal. Now let's pick our lampshade here. Let's just type in um what was that to? Fabric. And really you can pick what you want, I guess. These actually meshes actually are see-through. Those are actually kind of cool. Um Looking like something. A little bit different than what we have here. But um, like I said, you can change change whatever you want. So but now what we can do is we can move, just pull another one. Actually no you don't need to do that because we know it's centered, so it's just M enter and just move her down to there. And the lights on and then we'll now we'll just move enter. Select your lamp shade. Go there to there. Now, the only thing we got to do is add our light and our background, and we're done. And just to show you what well, default without adding any other lights, we'll type in RR, enter. And this is kind of what it's looking like so far with no uh, nothing on it. And you can rotate that here. RR, enter for render. Again, that's actually a kind of a cool pattern there. I really like that with the body of the lamp. So now what we can do is look at a front on view on that thing. And then what we'll do is we'll go to a uh, put it to here. Now let's just type in the word light. L I G H T. Uh turn off the lights. What was it asking you? Because then you'll be working like double amounts of lights. We're going to install it. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, you need to pick the kind of light you want. We're going to pick point. It's kind of more like a... Kind of a sun is more non-directional. It's kind of everywhere. Uh, and then hit enter. And there you go. And let's move it down into that light bulb. Where it looks like it is. Look at it uh, from the front view. Just to kind of... Uh, and it is. And uh, if we go back to Southwest Side Transmission, now this is going to look kind of cool compared to what it was looking a minute ago. RR Enter. See there, guys? Pretty cool, pretty cool. So now what we can do is let's just go to a uh, top view. What am I doing? So here I'm going to type in REC for a rectangle. Let's draw a really big rectangle. <clears throat> what we're going to do is copy that rectangle. Back, let's copy with C and my CO, enter and with my uh, shortcut there. Now we're going to rotate that bad boy. And then 3D rotate this guy. So he's going to be a wall. This is the floor. So remember how to do that? 3D R. Bam, there you go. And then what we'll do is we'll pick this axis, pull it up. And then we'll move M, enter. About there, cool deal. 
now we can do that again. Copy. CO enter. Move it out here. You could have drawn a polyline and extruded it, yes. Uh, I know some of you guys are probably going to say that, but uh, like I said, that's just my brain uh, path leads me down not necessarily the straightest path sometimes, but alright, so again, 3D rotate that, 3DR. And I'm always open to suggestion, guys. Like, hey, you know, I mean, I, I had, I learned all this on my own, just messing with it. So uh, I always have a lot of respect for anybody that uh, knows more than me. I always want to learn more. That's why I like doing these for you guys to help you learn more. I sort of want to look at that. Actually, no. Before we do that, let's press pull these. So that's P R E S. If I can spell. Yes. Yes. There we go. That one. And again, just something real small, 0.0625. You don't need nothing big. Again, do it on this one. So drag it that way, 0.0625. There you go. Now let's look at that from the front view. Let's measure it. Move it up appropriately. Actually, we didn't know. Uh, let's let's uh, press pull that bottom. P R E S S. Now, if we look at the front view. Measure it. Pull her up. Where did it go? Yeah. The bottom to the top here. Pull that all the way out. Grab all of your geometry for the lamp. Move. Okay. Move it up. Your dimension line only. That way it stays in its spot. See? Move. So now what we can do is we can copy this light out. See? Oh. Move her. Move out this way. Yeah, move out this way. Now I'm going to change the intensity factor on both of these. Type in properties. P, R, enter. I have both of these selected. Um, the intensity factor, let's just change it down to 0.25. Let's see what that does. And we're going to move this guy. M, enter, move. Move him up. Right about there. Um, and uh, let's rotate it. Just kind of give it a test. R. And looking good. Because you want to create a little bit of light on the outside here. So this interior is still kind of crazy. Actually, no, leave it. Just to check. Yeah, it's a point instead of quarter. So, I know what you can do if you really want to copy that light again. We'll copy it this way. And then we'll move it in that way. Now what we do, we're gonna now we're pretty much gonna stay in this mode. So what we're gonna do is pick our background. Let's just type in uh, I don't know where we want to pick. It's really you do papers down here if you want to. We're just gonna do this really quick. Uh, and then for the background, let's pick in uh, Wallpaper. No, I don't like that. Let's uh, <clears throat> fabric. Guys, you can pick whatever you want here. Really, whatever your heart desires. I just be nitpicky. Mm, what I want. What I want. Match properties is M A. If you don't know what it is, you can just mess with your commands. I know it should tell you. I'm going to select this one, choose that one. Now it's going to go into perspective mode, P E R S. There. By turning it on, you choose one, enter. There you go. Now we're going to shift, shift, um, shift middle click on your mouse, 
and then I like to use this command. I don't know what the shortcut for that is, so if you just go into your your guy here, and I believe um, I think it's under zoom. Yes, your zoom. You, you can zoom in or uh, z in or you know you can do it that way too. But this right here lets you gradually do it, which I really I like that. All right, so real quick, guys, let's go to RR, enter. Yeah, there you go. You got you a lamp. Cool deal, guys. And like I said, you can change it to whatever you want. If you wanted to change that metal on the fly, for whatever reason, you can type in UTAL for metal. Now, what does this look like? Uh, I don't know. You can just render it real quick. RR, enter. There you go. Now we got a blue lamp. And if you wanted to diamond plate, that's kind of cool. Um, bam. So that looks like RR. When I get in, you have to be in the drawing area. RR. Well, at least it's supposed to be diamond plate. Anyway, guys, um, that's about it. So I mean, let me know what you thought. Uh, and uh, we'll, uh, you want me to do another one sometime, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we can, uh, we'll get it sketched up if you have any questions, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do another. Let's see what this will look like com in comparison. Got that one. I did stone background with like concrete floor. Comparatively here, eh, you know, I mean. <laughs> A little bit different, but um, hey, looks good nonetheless. Create some nice shadows there. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subcri subscribe and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, we'll be uh, look out for our ones coming out in the near future. Appreciate it. Thanks.